I think this music is called Snoopy's Theme. Just, it's been a long time since I've been a, well, I was a big fan of Charlie Brown when I was a little boy. I just don't know that it, and then I, I found out when I grew up that it was actually written for grown-ups. It's, it's like a Charles Schultz's own uh, trip to the psychiatrist's office. Bill Colley with you on Top Story on News Radio 1310, KLIX, News Radio 1310.com, 924, 39. Weather improving today, and we may be up around 70 degrees by the end of the weekend and going into next week. I want to remind people if you're listening to the program, you know, that's a great thing. I'm glad you're there. But if you're having difficulty listening, I'm a little sad because I want you to continue to listen. So what we're recommending is that you give a call or touch uh, reach out and touch uh, Dr. Christine Pickup by web uh, website. That website is mottharrisonaudiology.com, and she's a doctor of audiology at Mott Harrison Audiology in Rupert, 1218 9th Street, unit number 2. Telephone number is 312-0957, and she asks if you're on medication for high blood pressure or even a diuretic because these medications can affect your hearing. Hearing health is a reflection of your overall health when you come in for a free, keyword, free wellness hearing screening at Mott Harrison Audiology. Dr. Pickup is going to review your medications and also discuss ways to protect your hearing in the future. I mentioned this in the last hour of the program. I want to get to this if we can uh, now because uh, this is a story that I think will gain some traction in the next few days if those of us in talk radio mention it because it's likely not going to get a huge amount of attention when it comes when it comes to the uh, the mainstream media because they won't like a story like this it runs counter to the narrative they're trying to establish i found this today at a website called uh, media research center tv.org and it's actually abbreviated as mrctv.org following the terrorist attack in brussels a slight majority of americans now support a ban on muslims entering the united states and think their religion of peace is a fundamentally fundamentally violent religion so the, the number of people who wanted to actually have a moratorium on refugee resettlement was under 50%. It's now over 50%. A few more of these attacks will drive it to, what, 60, 70, 80, perhaps? The poll was con- uh, conducted last weekend, and the polling company YouGov, which is not a conservative pollster, asked 1,000 Americans whether they support Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump's proposal to enact, quote, total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States until our country's rep- representatives can figure out what is going on, unquote. The position on banning Muslims from entering the U.S. comes as the poll asks respondents to answer, which statement comes closer to your own views on Islam? The choices were, number one, the Islamic religion is more likely than others to encourage violence among its believers, or number two, the Islamic religion does not encourage violence more than others. In response, three-fifths of those replied, saying uh, 59%, the Islamic religion is more likely than others to encourage violence among its believers. So even more people think it's a violent religion, but over 50% now. Are those uh, 51% of the Americans who were surveyed, and if that's an accurate assessment of what's going on around the country, my question for you is, are they all racist, bigot haters? Or do they have a legitimate concern? And with the American left and all of the establishment figures who are uh, pushing this program, would they, in turn, would they be able to sit there and tell you that, you know, that, Perhaps there might be a legitimate reason Americans have to be concerned about all of this. Hillary Robin Clinton talking about this very same subject. Apparently she has not seen the polling numbers. When Donald Trump says, stop all Muslims from coming to the United States, well, that's not only contrary to our values and religious freedom, which is pretty important to Americans, but it sends exactly the wrong signal. We have to put together a coalition of European, Middle Eastern, and Arab countries to defeat ISIS. You know, dead men and women don't have values, Hillary Clinton. So if, if you end up getting blown to bits by some Islamic terrorist, uh, uh, values are irrelevant, right? And, and if you weren't ready to die yet, perhaps your value was to go on and be a productive member of our society, and that gets in the way of that. The Christian Post has this. White House Press Secretary Josh Earnest claimed Sunday suicide bombing targeting Easter celebrating Christians in Pakistan that killed 72 and injured hundreds more, had more Muslim than Christian victims. Does that make it okay then? Because President Obama refused to call it terrorism against Christians. So now the White House officially is saying, well, yeah, but more Muslims were actually killed than Christians. Does that mean that that's okay? Well, you know, they they were killing themselves, so yeah, yeah, we heard the White House say, what's a big deal? 
That comes from the Christian Post, as I mentioned. Alan West writing at his website, you may know the lieutenant colonel, uh, and he goes on to say, the president needs to know that this is not some distorted view. He says, these are the exact intents emanating from Muhammad. And he said, these are 1,400-year-old views, and they haven't changed. And he said, if you like evidence, go back to the Barbary pirates. We had two presidents in this country who fought Muslims in the early days, John Adams and Thomas Jefferson. So again, he says, this is not new. And he says, the woman who came here and, and convinced her husband to shoot up that ballroom in San Bernardino, California, he writes, she provided false residence information, which was never verified. The result, 14 dead, 21 wounded. Now, we're told, yeah, but uh, these people are all easily verified and screened. And, uh, well, okay, she wasn't. But what the heck? It's only uh, 35 casualties. Oh, uh, that's an acceptable loss. Yes, yes, uh, because we have to feel good about ourselves. 9.30, Bill Colley with you on Top Story on News. We'll talk more about this in the next segment of the program. On Top Story on News Radio 1310, KLIX, and News Radio 1310.com. Got a quick note. I want to mention this. Uh, this is coming up tomorrow night. And a lot of you may have an interest in attending this program. Dealing with Agenda 21, and of course the latest one, the latest effort is to try to accelerate this. Uh, this is from the globalists. Agenda 2030. This will be taking place at the campus of CSI tomorrow night, 6.30, no charge. That means free. Free is good, right? Just ask a Bernie Sanders voter. <laughs> 6.30 p.m. tomorrow night, and that will be in the Shields Building, room 115. That's on the CSI campus, Shields Building, room 115. Karen Schumacher, the speaker, and she's going to be talking about the uh, the efforts to try to take up uh, lands, uh, the, the, the growing effort. In fact, you know, now we've got, what, two-thirds of Nevada under federal control, uh, 63% of Idaho under federal control, and the federal government wants even more of that land, water grabs and Twin Falls recolonization, a BLM overreach, and tribal lands. Also, she'll expose the global warming hoax that carbon dioxide is not causing climate change, but needed for life on planet Earth. So tomorrow night, one more time, Shields Building, Room 115, on the college or campus of CSI, 6.30 p.m. We'll talk a bit more about that tomorrow on the program. Uh, here, the State Department is now saying we're going to have 8,000, almost 9,000 new Syrian refugees coming in October. Now, not all to Twin Falls or Boise, uh, but apparently many coming to the United States, and we could still see some more of those. That's reported by the Washington Examiner. That came out from the State Department yesterday. President Obama is using a figure of 100,000. 100,000. I also have this from churchmilitant.com, one of my favorite websites. And it says it goes into the, what's going on in Europe right now with the epidemic of rape. And uh, the reason they're having this epidemic of rape is because all of these young men supposedly coming out of Syria, although a lot of them are coming out of elsewhere too, and uh, they're coming to these new lands, and they, well, they've been doing this to, you know what, sheep, goats, and camels, where they come from. They see a good-looking Scandinavian blonde, and all of a sudden, apparently, they can't control themselves. 936, you're up next. You're on the air with Bill Colley on Top Story. Good morning, Bill. Your uh, last segment topic, it just gets under my skin how these Democrats deflect, 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 saying this against our... Uh, Who is she, by the way, to talk about morals and values? She's got none. She, yeah, she's got none. But here, here's the here's the point. They talk about that, but yet it is. If you go back in history, in fact, it wasn't it the Democratic Party that pretty much enslaved most of the the African Americans. Wasn't it the Democratic Party that put all the people in the camps after wars? I mean, come on, it's it, it, they're such hypocrites. They they say they want medical attention for everyone because one life lost is is unacceptable, but they abort thousands. They say we want to get rid of guns because one life is worth uh, everything, but yet they bring these people in by the thousands and they keep killing people. When do you say enough is enough? If they won't assimilate, if they won't become an American, then they should stay the hell out. Great point. I thank you much for the call. I, I was reading somebody overnight uh, in, in doing some prep for the show today on this topic, 
And uh, you know, the writer pointed out uh, that the, the problem really isn't so much the liberal politicians. It's that media also forces the agenda as well because media isn't, isn't any longer objective. And it's unfortunate that, that only a handful of sources, talk radio being one of them, is able to bring this to you any longer. You're up next. You're on the air on KLIX. Hey, good morning, Bill. Hey, a uh, couple of things. Hillary yesterday went after the NRA and somebody else, and it's this, they got this you know, line that they're putting out there now. It's one life matters. Only one life, you know, if, if we, it can save one life. If, the, if we took away the guns, one life would matter, in other words. Well, what about the babies they kill, millions of babies every day? You know, I, had a, I even had a Republican politician tell me at lunch a few months ago, he said, well, I'm not in any position to tell a woman what she should do with her own body. But you know something? I used to be in a womb. I was a baby. Right. And I, I'd like to have, I, I think that at least someone would respect that. I, you know, this, this notion that, well, how about my life and my choice and my, because you get none. You're just cut up or sucked out of your, the mother's womb and that's it. So when I hear that kind of scurrilous argument, that tells me that's just someone again. Um, who, who claims to be a Republican but is trying to kiss up with all of the elites. Thanks, Bill. Thank you. And then vote against the Bible bill in the state legislature. <clears throat> Gosh, I guess I, I should name him. 939, about 30 seconds before the break. Go ahead. Oh, you guys are delirious. All the, the, uh, Hillary has got cooties. It's just me, that's me, you and her, Kyle. I love you, Kyle. Bye, Kyle. Uh-huh. Uh, did anyone get that? Yeah. <laughs> You know, when, when you suddenly realize that, that most of these Democrat supporters are barely literate people, I, I guess, well, we'll leave it at that. 9.39, coming up on 9.40. Bill Colley with you on Top Story. By the way, story at the Daily Caller today. Hundreds of adult refugees bring child brides to Europe, and authorities there are having a hard time protecting the minors from their, quote, spouses, unquote. That's an ancillary part of that rape story. You know, these liberals, though, they all think that's great because we wouldn't want to offend all of those rapists. Maybe we should qualify that, do a Donald Trump. Not all, some, but enough. Hey, more on the way. Got to tell you about a boondoggle involving uh, solar energy coming up.